In Denmark, the Higher Technical Examination Program (HTX) in Danish, Hoger Teknisk Examen, is a three-year vocationally oriented general upper secondary program which builds on the 10th 11th form of the Folkeskole. It leads to the Higher Technical Examination, the HTX examination, which permits a student to qualify for admission to higher education subject to the special entrance regulations that apply to the individual course. The program gives special attention to scientific, technical and communicative subjects. HTX graduates may study at any Danish technical, scientific or traditional university as well as technical and technological academy or college Professionsschool. <laughs> HTX program The aim of the program is to give the students a general and technical upper secondary education, which through theoretical and workshop-related teaching qualifies the students for admission to higher education. The program furthermore provides a partial basis for occupational employment and qualifies the student for a reduction of the schooling period in a vocational education and training program. The HTX program is a three-year program. The introductory six-month semester details the aims of the secondary school period of the vocational education and training programs offered by the college. The program caters to the 16- to 19-year-old bracket and is divided into years with a certain number of obligatory and optional subjects of both a general and a vocational nature. Students may have the same teacher for different subjects throughout the program. The program builds on the ninth form of the Folkeskole or a corresponding qualification and is of three years duration. The school organizes the teaching so that the aims of individual subjects are met, before the students are to be examined in the subject. Each student completes his own final project. <laughs> Admission requirements The three-year HTX program builds on to the tenth year of the folk school or similar education. All pupils that have received the relevant education and passed the prescribed examinations can continue in an upper secondary program of more or less their own choice. Access, however, is not automatically available to the general upper secondary programs. If a school finds that the pupil and their parents are not taking the education and guidance provided seriously, and or that there is a risk that the pupil will not be able to meet the requirements of the general upper secondary programs, the pupil may be recommended to sit for an admission test to one of the general upper secondary programs. History The HTX program was established in 1982 by the Ministry of Education as an experiment to oblige the rising demand for more technical and scientific educated labor in Denmark at the time. Before 1982 there were only three ways to get a university degree in the Danish education system, through the Gymnasium STX, Higher Preparatory Examination HF, or Higher Commercial Examination Program HHX. Of those, only the gymnasium could lead directly to a technical university education, but it wasn't a wholesome way since there were a lot of mandatory subjects which was of no use at a technical university education classical studies, Danish, Oldtidskunskab, religious studies, history, and physical education. None of those oriented in special only to the scientific, technical and communicative subjects, which in a more and more globalized Denmark began to matter a great deal. The labor market was experiencing downturns due to great changes in the Danish business sector, where Denmark's role in the world was shifting from a productive industrial country like China to a more service industrial country, with research and production of knowledge becoming the most vital markets. To be compatible with the rest of the world, more engineers and scientists needed to be educated. This was where the higher technical examination program entered the picture. HTX was then only offered as a two-and-a-half-year program, which only gave admission to certain technical educations, like Bachelor Engineer Danish, Technikum Ingenieur and Civil Engineer Danish, Civil Ingenieur in construction. 
As an experimental program, the HTX was using the most modern method of teaching, and a lot of interdisciplinary group and project work to imitate situations that students would encounter in the real world, something that wasn't being done a great deal in gymnasia. The program also quickly adapted computer technology for use in the education like mathematics. The main subjects were of course chemistry, biology, physics and mathematics, and the education was on the same level as the gymnasium, without the unnecessary subjects. The program was a great success. As the experimental phase was being closed in 1988, the HTX program was to become a fully integrated part of the Danish education system. It began to spread throughout the Danish education system, and was offered at the most technically oriented vocational secondary schools, Danish, Tekniske Ervervskoler before long. The program though had image problems as it was somehow regarded a «geek school» because of the great deal of technical and scientific subjects that didn't attract female attention, which caused the HTX program to be very male-dominated in the first years. On 1 January 1991, the subjects were divided into A, B and C levels, which for that reason removed the last thing that kept the HTX program from being a complete academically oriented upper secondary education equal to the gymnasium. The HTX program was now also extended to three full years of studying, with a final exam in the A level subjects at the last year. From now on, the HTX program could lead to any university education, but still with focus on the technical and scientific subjects, and less on the humanist subjects, though it was also possible to take optional subjects like design and psychology that may give access to some humanist university educations. Some new unique subjects to be found only at the HTX program, like the technique subject. Danish, Technikfag, Technology and History of Technology were introduced. At the same time, the mandatory level of chemistry, physics and mathematics was set a level higher B level, than at the gymnasium C level, which meant that an HTX graduate, unlike an STX graduate, automatically had admission to any technical university education. In 2005, there was a gymnasium reform. The gymnasium, the HHX program and the HTX program were now fully equal, which means that they have the same optional subjects, and they have adopted some of each other's strengths to make a fully integrated academically oriented upper secondary education. For example, the three programs have very similar six-month introduction semesters which make it easy to shift between the three programs to find the most suitable for one. Furthermore, the subject History of Technology was made obligatory at sea level. In 2007, the Ministry of Education revised the Gymnasium Reform and introduced biotechnology as a new optional subject, which until 2009 is offered only as an experiment. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Specialization, Subjects and Levels. The HTX program is based on technical and scientific subjects at the highest mandatory level offered in Denmark. Furthermore, it is as well based on a wide range of optional subjects similar to those found in the gymnasium or at the HHX program. Some of the optional subjects are business, economics, work environment, history of technology, international technology and culture, information technology, material technology, design, statistics, quality control, etc. The subjects can be taken at three levels, A, B and C, with A as the highest level and usually a studying time of three years. The students choose at least three A-level, three B-level, and one C-level subjects to meet the requirements for a full HTX exam diploma. The new students who are admitted, begins at the program in August every year, in the so-called first G. Danish, forced G. The first half year is spent at an introductory semester. Grundforlab, where the students are randomly selected into classes, with an emphasis on the students' selected line of study. Here they receive education in Danish, English, mathematics, physics, chemistry, technology and information technology to ensure that the students are all equally prepared. 
The biggest differences between the new students are in mathematics, where basic needs are taught like solving equations and algebra. The introductory course is finished with an obligatory portfolio examination whose purpose is to make clear to both the teachers and the student how and what the student has learned over the past half year of introduction to the HTX program. The duration of the exam is 20 minutes. Before Christmas, the students must have chosen their desired line of study study linje. A line of study is a compilation of subjects at different levels, all of which adhere to the minimal requirements of the HTX exam. This is the final, binding choice, which forms the program with some differences depending on study specialization. A line of study consists of two subjects chosen by the school, and one subject with relevance chosen by voting among the pupils. This may, however, vary between schools throughout the country. If a subject is included in a line of study, its level will be raised. C level will be raised to B, and B level to A. If the subject is not mandatory, it will be included as a C level subject. For instance, English is mandatory at B level, but if it is in a line of study, it is raised to an A level. But there are two major exceptions communication, IT will be raised from C level to A level, and design will be a B level subject even though it is not a mandatory subject. Most of the schools offer at least three different lines of study, namely Natural Science, with Mathematics A and Physics A or Chemistry A Technical, with Technology A and another relevant subject Communicative, with Communication, IT A and English A or Design Bin The last year of the program, the students are obliged to choose one of three rather unusual Area of Technical Specialization at level A in this subject the students spend an entire day at working with specialization. The choice of area of technical specialization decides the specialization indicated in the certificate. The students can choose between the following specializations. Construction and energy a subject with emphasis on real-world construction of buildings. Design and production a subject with emphasis on the design and production of electronics. Process, food and health, a subject with emphasis on chemical processes with regard to the production of consumables. Topic: <laughs> Methods. The teaching is based on vocational theory and method and on practical vocational conditions. The aim of the course to be a preparation for higher education studies must be reflected in the organization of the teaching. Teaching methods included develop the independence of the students and their ability to argue, generalize and make abstractions. The teaching is organized so that the subjects support each other with a view to creating an appropriate and equal distribution of the workload of students. When attending to the HTX program, one must expect that a great part of the work is done in groups, and that there will be a lot of interdisciplinary projects, too. Although there is also common class education, and lectures in different subjects. It's a very practical program, as theory is being proved in practice when possible. The incorporation of computers is very visible, as over 90% of all students bring their laptop to school for taking notes. Calculate students will get education in programs like MathCAD, AutoCAD, Maple and SmartSketch, Draw etc. It's not a requirement, but it's a big advantage to have a laptop at the HTX program. Most schools are able to lend laptops to students who haven't got one themselves. Topic. Pupil evaluation Students are given marks for the year's work on the basis of their performance in class and their homework. As a rule, the examinations are held at the end of the program. A student can normally only be registered for the examination if they have participated in the instruction, and have handed in required written work and had it approved by the teachers concerned. Oral and or written examinations are held in almost all of the subjects. The student's performance at the examination is assessed by the teacher, examiner and external examiners appointed by the Ministry of Education. Topic. 
Topic: Certification. When the students have completed all the examinations at the end of the third year, the school issues a certificate indicating all the marks obtained by the students at the examination and in the year's work. The Ministry of Education decides on the design of the certificate. Topic: <laughs> Schools in Denmark. Topic: <laughs> Region Nordjylland. EUC Nord, Frederikshavn, VEC North. EUC Nord, Joring, VEC North. Alborg Tekniske Skole, Alborg Technical School, two schools. Erverskolen AARs, the vocational schools AARs. Nordvestjysk Uddannelses Center, Thisted, Northwest Jutlandic Education Center. Topic: Region Midtjylland. Skive Tekniske Skole, Skive Technical School. Vibor Tekniske Gymnasium, Merkentech, Vibor College of Technology, Merkentech. Randers Tekniske Skole, Randers Technical School. Grena Tekniske Skole, Grena Technical School. Silkeborg Tekniske Skole, Silkeborg Technical School. Aarhus Tekniske Skole, Aarhus Technical School, three schools. Holstebro Tekniske Gymnasium, Holstebro Technical Gymnasium. Herning's Home Over School, HTX Herning, Herning, Herning's Home Vocational School. Adanel says Center Rinkobing Skjern Skjern, Education Center Rinkobing Skjern. Learnmark Horsens, HTX, Learnmark Gymnasium. Topic: Region Sydenmark. Veli Tekniske Gymnasium, Veli Technical Gymnasium. EUC Lillebelt, in the past named Fredericia Middelfart Techniski School, Fredericia Middelfart Technical School. HANSENBERG. Grindsted Erverskole, Grindsted Vocational School. EUC Vest, Esbjerg, VEC West. EUC Sid, Hatterslev, VEC South. EUC Sid, Tonder, VEC South. EUC Sid, Abinra, VEC South. EUC Sid, Sonderborg, VEC South. Odense Tekniske Gymnasium, Odense Technical Gymnasium. Cold Tekniske Gymnasium, Cold Technical Gymnasium. Svendborg Overskol, Svendborg College of Science, Technology and Business. Topic: Region Shelland. EUC Nordwest Shelland, Holbeck, VEC Northwest Zealand, EUC Ringsted, Ringsted, Salandia, CEU, Slagels, Salandia, CVE, EUC Lolland, Naxkov, VEC Lolland, CS, Nykobing Falster, CVES, EUC Shelland, Nayestved, VEC Zealand. EUC Shelland, Kog, VEC Zealand, Roskilde Tekniske Gymnasium, Roskilde Technical Gymnasium, ZBC Vordingborg, Zealand Business College. Topic: Region Hovedstaden. Erverskolen Norsheland, Helsingør, the vocational school Zealand. Erverskolen Norsheland, Hillerode, the vocational school Zealand. Teknisk Erverskol Center, Lingby, Technical Vocational School Center. Ballerup Tekniske Gymnasium, Ballerup Technical Gymnasium. Tees, Ishoge, Tees. Teknisk Erverskol Center, Frederiksberg, Technical Vocational School Center. Copenhagen Tekniske Skol, HTX Suckertoppen, Valby, Copenhagen Technical School. Copenhagen Tekniske Skol, HTX Vibenhus, Osterbro, Copenhagen Technical School. 
Bornholmserverfschule, Ron, Bornholms Vocational School, 